Ayutthaya. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so this video is titled. <laughs> I think. <laughs> so this video is titled Inspiration from the Flux. Colon humor question mark or maybe exclamation mark <laughs> <laughs> okay no in all serious seriousness <laughs> hello everyone <laughs> well, uh, welcome to another episode of inspiration from the flux of the flux from the flux um i titled this video humor because i think it's very important to be kept reminded to be reminded to keep oneself reminded let's let's put it that way um, to look through the lens of humor I think it's one of the most important tools and and yeah really just lenses one can can see through and it's something that I believe every human has the innate capacity to of course, if you're in a very dark place, then not not even the best joke, not even the best uh, kind of humor uh, can can elevate that suffering. But f if if you repeatedly set out to do that and to see things through a, a lighter um, lens or through a lighter presence, presence is of course very important. But I think humor comes. Uh, with it or or humor can be a result of of being more present or being or seeing through this the 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 shackles things through, through the veil of of existence of material existence of human life and human drama basically because if you look at look at it from the the higher perspective human drama is really uh, it's weirdly funny although of course this sounds offensive to some if you're in the midst of suffering then that's 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 not of any help I, I i understand that and it also doesn't mean to to deviate from from compassionate thinking or from empathetic um intuitive guidance internal internal empathetic guidance or anything like that no no of course not but to keep reminding yourself of the humor of things about uh, the the weirdness and the strangeness of human life and um, societies and social interactions and the way the whole reality the whole world is is not only perceived but the way it's created the way it's uh, it's built up and structured and and there, there are a lot of things that you can say it's so absurd that if you choose to look through it uh, look at it through the through the lens of humor or through the pers from the perspective of of a more gentle, um, yeah, humorous notion, then it actually elevates a little bit of the suffering. Or in that moment where you can laugh, even if it's only for a few seconds or maybe a minute or two, it really, it really elevates the soul. It really gets you uh, more connected to your intrinsic core, to your soma, I would say, the soma or the soul and your true essence, basically. And of course, if you can, you know, especially in times like these where a lot of news are being uh, bombarded towards you and a lot of things are happening in the world. Uh, try to not follow <laughs> too much uh, the, the, the news and try to not engage too much in any unnecessary heavy darkness. It, of course, if it's a personal relationship or if it's things in the family or something, then of course listen with a compassionate ear and try to figure out a solution together and try to you know be of help be of service basically um to yourself and to others but at the same time you know on a larger scale if you really can't physically um in a material directly applicable sense can help um at, at someone at the other end of the world and you just don't have the energy the means or whatever it is you know the um to to to, to offer support then it's best to to disengage a little bit from from the drama and from the um, heavy 
pull down of the news you know this this negative energy patterns just cycling through people's minds and through consciousness and for me it's, it can be something very simple something very um yeah that's n not not effective or not not an doesn't create any negative effect or any you know pull down or has no gravity for other people is just like oh yeah just another little information but if you if you feel it more if you are attuned more to to other people's energies and other people's auric fields and things like that you know uh then it can be really draining and it can be really exhausting to to because you automatically catch on to that energy um, whatever it is you know it can be also po positive energy if it's something joyful something very pleasurable and, and, and yeah you can enjoy basically then of course also if you see someone else laugh or it's it's something positive happening around you then you can also be elevated more easily than than someone who's not that sensitive maybe to to that type of uh, energy or the type of empathetic um yeah tuning in uh with 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 these weird antennas of ours but i would i would just say as a reminder for today try to find as much humor in day-to-day -day situations and day to daily interactions minuscule things uh little things that you come across throughout the day try to find as much humor as possible and if you can watch some you know sitcom or some some really funny movie that you can enjoy m multiple times you know one of my favorites my one of my personal favorites is uh the the movie from 1971 or 72 i believe is um uh, what's up doc it's just outrageously funny i think it's a uh, nonsensical uh, super silly really on, on some corners extremely stupid uh character comedy and 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 this is there's all kinds of elements and it's the slapstick comedy there's verbal communicative uh, uh silly humor there is just the situations at hands are so uh absurd and extreme and the way they are pre presented the whole movie without spoiling anything if you if you want to look into that what's up doc um really funny it's just the yeah it's it's going more and more into a chaotic uh plot and and the whole uh scenario and the whole events in the movie are staged in a way that you can't possibly say look at it from from a, a serious perspective even if some of the characters maybe you don't you know you don't like or you don't resonate with or the premise or anything like that you immediately forget it or you don't focus on it because it's just so absurd and and um yeah out there in 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 the comedy style without being you know a pushover without being being too cheesy i think it it's bo it borders the cheesy the cheesiness pretty well at least for me personally maybe maybe you might disagree um but it's also not like uh, yeah it's it's not not too heavy not too 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 stupid i mean there are comedies that can be too stupid but this is just the right amount of silly for me and um yeah my wife and i we watched it a few weeks ago and it's just i can come back to this movie again and again because it elevates the mood uh, completely and it's just it it, it gets you in, into a different mindset into a different world and then when you can whatever it is whatever you choose to do you know by es escapism uh through a series or a movie or or a game or anything you know or just m making silly jokes with friends and family um then try to bring that with you if you if you're alone throughout the day if you just walk walk on the streets if you're working at something if you have to follow your day-to-day -day routine just try to bring that that emotional value that emotive processing and that that remembrance remembrance that memory uh from from that humor filled situation try to bring that with you and try to keep you know not not pondering on it in the in the in the analytical sense in the linearly conceptual sense that you that you look at it from mm, why did this make me laugh no no don't don't try to to go into that direction but just intuitively try, try to bring it up again or look at some yeah s some something funny on on youtube or anything some funny skits and try to keep 
letting it pop up into your consciousness throughout the day so that you maybe sit on the train and you have to giggle to yourself and no matter what other people think uh, if you if you have to laugh out loud or anything and they believe you're crazy just uh, let it be and let them even nicer let them be part of your uh, humor let them be part of the comedy that all this is so this is the message for today i hope it resonates See you.